I mean, his armor does look nice. And now we know how to use our fate stuff, and hopefully we'll start accumulating fate as we damage people. A little close. Um... This is where our map is pointing. Oh! Follow Razor. It's very kind. Oh, okay. So it's pointing into the area that we need next. These are such good names. Valentarth. Right? <laughs> Oh man, people keep asking me if I'm gonna play Skyrim and it's like, bruh, you guys, you really want to sink that much time into that? We're gonna be there forever. But I also feel like people really love nostalgic games. And that's... <laughs> Sorry, that's good. I feel like nostalgic games are kind of like my brand right now. I guess the discrepancy is like, it's usually me having never played the game before. Ooh, yeah, that, that's a good idea. I don't know why it just like boomed us. And don't we have an item for that? Oh god, look at all what we've got so far. Oh, one kind of log. We, did we read these already? Uh, oh, we didn't. Oh, Stone Candle must have been the cave we were in earlier. So, among meticulous entries of mining shifts and prismere loads extracted, a handful of personal entries stand out. Third Winter, 203. Survey Team Secundus. Tremendous fun. Contradictory to our earlier surveys on record, Stone Candle Caves and Alistair show sign of a rare seam of Word and samples have been sent to the Forum in Edessa, which is another country, I'm assuming. Be a secure messenger, and their answer is all but certain. Buy the land, start the mines, and tell no. Everyone focus on the war, nobody will notice another mine, and be able to make a First spring 204, Templar Octien not only demanded the establishment of Stone Candle, but has also personally funded construction of a new laboratory in Elastar. This should prevent the nearby town from asking too many questions about the mine. Although we still keep a second log in case of prying eyes. Regrettably, this makes Phylax reporting at best. One can only hope that this will not reflect poorly in our- Like an autumn 207. I feel like this is a lot of words. I mean, a lot of months and years transpiring. Oh, the DLC just kicked in? Sorry, I'm catching up with the chat really quick. <laughs> Yeah, when we get to the town, I'll do the chest. A new scholar has arrived at Alistair Tower with much fanfare. Word from Octien is that Fomorous Hughes' research is too important to be interrupted by day-to-day -day matters, even though he won't tell us what the research is exactly. Meanwhile, kobolds continue to be a nuisance, ambushing our miners at the mouth of the cavern. We have too few Praetorians to handle a pack of the beasts, and there's no way I'm letting them station Fair Gorta down here. I don't know what that is yet. Bad enough, chipping away. Oh no, we found our first typo! Bad enough, chipping away in the dark without one of those crazy one men sneaking up on <laughs> on you. First spring, 210. Early tunnels connecting the mines to Alistair Tower are complete. They still need shoring up to be stable enough for use, but soon we'll be able to move the prismere straight into the labs. Not worrying about kobolds or curious outsiders. Just in time, too. There have been reports of soldiers lurking in the forest nearby. Don't they know the warfront is on the other side of the Phelan? Dang, that's a lot of mods, y'all. Okay, that's what we needed. We've read all of these other ones. Report to Rathir! Iki, intrepid travelers, seasoned adventurers, and brave men and women of Amalur. A fiend is loose in the Frostbreak Sea. Oh, this is it! Dead Kel, that's the DLC, has returned, and his crew of hanged men trail a bloody wake. Will you let this stand? The Alfar merchant navy seeks dauntless souls in their pursuit of the Pirate King. 
Do not delay. Draw your sword. Raise your sail. Set a court. Glory. Visit Rith. Yeah. I'm not going to worry about the DLC until after the game, probably. All right. Now that it's saving, let's go and pick some flowers. Oh, is the Teeth of Naros another DLC? I think it is. Now, these are one of my favorite things in the game. The lore stones. It's basically like primary codex entries in Mass Effect. They're read for you. Of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden nut. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. Yeah, yeah. Give me some sweet lore. Yeah, this one has no lid. Oh. He's just doing his thing over there. Oh my god, look at all of the herbs. I'm so excited. I'm impossible to quest with in World of Warcraft because all I do is gather herbs. Like, if we run by it, I gotta get it. It's on my map. I see it. I need it. Look at that big boy. Is he nice? I don't see red on my map. Kill bro. Ooh, look at the little goose. Chicken? Chicken. I'm gonna say chicken. Yo, that's so many Skyrim mods. Wow. How do you- how does the game still run with so many mods on it? Like, uh, Inquisition's giving me hell for like, five. Oh. oh, I remember seeing some screenshots or something. And this guy had like 300 plus mods, but it did look beautiful. Got our first town. Ooh, look, we got quests, chests, flowers. Poor heart. Ooh, fast travel's nice. Oh, I have to click it. Okay. Oh, this works just like Inquisition, really. Ooh, look. Oh, it's pretty linear. Dalantar. Teeth of Naros. Ooh, this is cool. The Tear. Oh, there's Edessa. Alam. Ah, oh, this must be Unseelie Lands. And Seelie Land. It's the Phalans over here. Or is it all the Phalans? Arathel. Oh, I thought it said Arathiel. Arathel. There we go. Oh, the Phalans is the whole place. Kind of like Thetis. Everyone okay. just stand back. The Warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. All right. Nicole, are you asking me? For what mod manager for Dragon Age? I think Nexus mods, whatever they use. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Good. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. Is she just gonna groan the whole Oh. Oh. I got electric. <laughs> I've spent most of my life dealing with them, but they aren't like us. Not at the core. They don't know what it means to be a man who sweats to feed his family. Goreheart has become a sort of refuge for those settlers who wish to live a life free of Fae. I don't see that lasting. Not with the war. Not with everything changing. So clearly, 
This fey lady has been in uh, savaged, if I remember his verbiage verbatim. We keep a precarious peace with the court of summer, one that's tested every day. I lie awake at night worrying what kind of disaster awaits me in the morning. But we're a good community full of good people. We have our eccentrics, sure, but we work hard and live quietly. That's the best anyone can do these days. Fair. Yeah, tell me about the fair. Peaceful Fey make up the tribe known as the Court of Summer. They are led by a king in a faraway city, hidden from mortal eyes. That's about all I know. Little more than rumors and stories from my youth. But the Twafa are, are still the are of the bad fey. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see what we can do to help her, because as soon as we address the situation, this guy oh. wants to I don't know what the Tuatha would be doing this far from the front lines. It must be something vital to their interests. They're a wicked breed, though, and I pity the man who meets up with them in these darkened forests. Our fate rests in the hands of a few chosen who fight in the east. You wouldn't even know it in Gorhart. We're miles away from the smoke and the screams. I'm the Warden of Gorhart, and a poor one at that. I've been back from the war for only six months and been Warden for less than two. Now here I am with an injured fay on my doorstep. I'm a disgrace. How does that make you a disgrace, sir? Hope you stay in town. Uh. It doesn't look like we can interact with her at all. But maybe we can give one of these people a potion. Give her. Keep moving. This business doesn't concern you. Unless you're an expert scholar on the Fae, I'd suggest you move along. No reason to be out in the open with the Red Legion about. She is just gonna... Yeah, the whole time. You might call it a Fey nation, one of two united factions that rule their kind. The Summer Court are not exactly allies, but they do let us be most of the time. It's the other Fey, the Winter Court, that has spawned the dreaded Tuatha, a vicious clan of killers who wish to defeat and enslave all mortals. Are you playing a trick on me? I would hope so. We're going on ten years of the mortals and the Tuatha locked in a deadly embrace. Normally, I'd decry the bloodshed, but this is a conflict that we cannot afford to lose. What are they? I'm not sure, but they've been here for longer than any of us can imagine. They're older than the trees. They have to be. They grew them. Humans and immortals cannot live together in peace, at least not forever. The peace we have with the Summer Court is unnatural. That's my opinion. All right. Bandits, but no ordinary bandits. Surely you've heard of Red the Dead Edward. They say he drinks the blood of his captives, that he consumes their souls. Or perhaps those are just rumors. You should be fine if you stay inside the village. Once you go beyond the boundaries of Gorhart, however, your life is in your hands. Here we go. I don't know if you noticed, but St. Odwig's mission closed its gate oh. moments before that Fae's body turned up on the road. Oh. I don't like what that suggests. Not at all. Oh, thank you for dropping by, Nicola. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Have fun with the Starfinder Captain oh. thing. The brothers of St. Odwig's are an odd oh. sort, scurrying back and forth across the mission like squirrels gathering nuts. I wonder what goes on behind those closed doors. Oh. I'll give you a good time with that, too. I'd never seen one of them until a day or so ago. It appears that a small group of warriors ventured inland to strike behind our lines. Believe the stories, friend. The Tuatha were mad. They have been touched by a dark magic. They are wholly corrupted, and they are the enemy. Oh. Alright. Does still have a quest. Let's give it to me the what first is time, it? Okay? I've got more pressing matters if you don't mind. Let me help. Oh. 
I've seen many bandit clans in the Crystal War and back home, but these men are a particular breed. They like their victims weak and bloody. The Red Legion has been a presence in the area for several weeks now. Our people are scared to show their faces after dark. Did it just start raining all of a sudden? It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. What? No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days, but it's not their way to go after the Fey in the area. They like their targets mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west, so that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. Oh, hello! <laughs> Chicken garlic bread. Fuck, that makes me scary. Oh. I'd have to look at it side by side to be like, yes, I can definitively oh. tell that there's a difference. Um, I'm oh. enjoying it, but I haven't seen anything definitively new yet. Oh. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. All right. Uh, Hope you stay in town. Let's have, let's have that set as our quest. Uh, and let's explore a little. I don't just want to whip around and destroy all the stuff in town. Oh, we got to go to the box. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I would definitely recommend picking up just for the sweet, sweet nostalgia. And to mention, they said the DLC is supposed to be coming out in a year or so. That's definitely worth it. Game is just a beloved favorite of mine, at least. All right. What? You had that much? Excuse me? That's so much stuff. Is this something that we got because we bought the special edition? Oh, cool. Cool. Oh. It has the... We'll see item packs. Oh, all right. Now we gotta go sell this to some poor merchant. Well, first, first, let's see if there's anything we can... We, have we didn't even get any good daggers? Ow! Ow! Okay, so we got a better set. Oh, we got chakram. Two chakrams. And then no fey blades. Really love some fey blades. So do chakrams work off of... Oh, it is still physical damage. Oh, it's physical damage. And <gasps> it steals mana. All right, secondary. This is clearly going to be a superior staff. So scepters, excuse me. No, this is clearly better. All right. I know there's so much crap. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't even want to think about my like gear score right now. We try to run a, uh, a PvP match the other day, and it's just like people have like max out corruption. And I haven't played a game in a few months. I'm like at 460 something item level, but like I can't, I can't, I can't. SETI. Okay. 
The upsetty, yeah. Very upsetty. Alright. So we're dressing. Take this hat off, because I really need to take that off. We'll have to go into the into the <laughs> options and make sure we don't have to look at that. Hmm. And we'll just do the running man set because I feel like that's what's gonna be good for us. Is that it? Alright. So we're updated. Now we just gotta sell all this shit that we don't need. Actually, first, hold on. Hide helmet, yeah. Oh, there's shepherd armor in there still? So it's shitload in there. Uh, my helmet. You. Ah. All right. So let's go see if we can sell something. We can sell all the like tank armor stuff because we won't need that. Open my. Right. Can I sell things to you? Um, I want to really put my chakram out because this fire business is warping my vision of people. <laughs> Come in, rest your boots by the fire, and drown your worries in a flagon of our finest. I am Arnik Arduna, and this is the famous Gorhart Inn. Oh, he can train us. Stick okay. around. This is who I wanted. Pull up a stool, stranger. We don't have much, but what we have won't leave a hole in your pocket. Right? Are you here about that fey girl they found outside? Shop. Okay, so does she have a limited amount of gold? I want to sell things. So I don't need shield. Or giant sword. I'm about to get new daggers. And honestly, just sell most. I don't know what that is. Guardian. I'll keep the robes just in case we decide to switch to that. We can sell the guardian. Oh, it's a magic shield. Oh, good. So I guess it's good that we kept it. Yes. If I end up using it at some point. Okay, I don't need to get rid of that. I want the, all of my stuff for crafting. I can sell that. Don't need that. Or bones. You may have all of my bones. Alright, now we're down to 25. She just like gave us a bunch of stuff. Don't Thank you. <laughs> Okay, gonna go back before we explore that too terribly much. We can talk to her and get more information, but I really want to take care of this chest. Yeah, the corruption gear is made. Need supplies. It very. Like a corner shop. Okay, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to use my chakrams and like accidentally go out where there's not people. No, there's people there too, but not here. Okay, good. Now I don't have that heat distortion. Much better. I can deal with a baby blizzard. All right. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's equip everything again. Um, so secondary is gonna be. Akram. Oh, wait. So we can do burning. Reckoning duration? Ooh. Hmm. Shocking damage. This does more damage. And I get extra health. I feel like that's still going to be fast. That is even less, man. Excuse me, damage. 
Give me my Beyblades, please. Okay, so we have damage reckoning. Oh, but this heals me? Give me that shit. Okay. Okay, so we got even more stuff. Good. Night stuff. Wait, the cap? Caps for a finesse. Oh, is this better? Wait, we got mana regen on finesse. Is this for our hybrid? Ooh. Oh no, now I now I don't know what I want. Probably want that one. So the imminent set. damage and duration that gloves and legs boots please yes all right that looks good but I thought we had them oh the shepherd stuff shepherd's helm is this what we're talking about We look like we're from Skyrim. Oh yeah, I can't put it on. Oh god, it does! I can't even put it on. Um... I don't know if disposing my law school is... I guess I don't- I don't think it's harmful. I went to, um... What's the name of it? I think it's the Antonia Antonine Scalia School of Law, but I know they changed the name of it. It was George Mason University School of Law when I went. Um, and then they changed the name, and I think they've changed it since because Antonine Scalia's School of Law ass of law. <laughs> and they realized that a lot later than the students did. <laughs> That's really cool that they made that based on the N7 armor. It's cool shit. All right, look how nifty we look now. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and this is gonna help us deal better group damage. Oh, right. <laughs> I wish it worked that way. Shit, I wish I could sell it back to them. I wanted to pay off all that debt. Sorry, I thought there were sparkles over here. Was I mistaken? Oh, it's right here. The graveside letter. I do look like a helicopter. A very deadly helicopter. Avery. I came to Gorehart to look after your kin. Rick is as wonderful as you described. Yet she's a shadow. She misses you. As do we all. I will watch over her since you... I will visit you often. Who would have guessed I would come to a mission and trade a prison for an oyster? If only we had both this. Alas, the bars were too strong. Both the two. Your brother in arm. Interesting, I wonder if we can give that to Avery at a later point. Yeah, I wonder how it is going to be walking through doors with this. Who's this? Gisela. I'm not accustomed to all of this excitement. It was difficult enough to adjust to life during wartime. Now we have to be on our guard oh. for Tuatha right here in our own home. What is this world coming to? Oh man. It's interesting because we have a lot of the same subjects to speak on. But it looks like everyone's had perspectives. Truth be told, I know nothing of why the Tuatha are at war with the Alpha, nor why men fight the way they do. All I know is who picks up the pieces. 
but to Arthur's madness infected the Winter Court. All Fae existed peacefully for centuries, until the two Arthur got involved. <laughs> it's sad. Nugget just straight up laid down on my keyboard. Hey, baby. Make it very difficult. Oh no, I've made a mistake. I was propping him up and now he's asleep on my hand. Rip. Here. My experience got a is limited to Arnik Arduna and Katrin Orway. They seem the same as any of the rest of us. Wiser, perhaps, but decent, hard-working folk. I can do this one-handed. I'm hardly a scholar, but I can tell you what I know. There are two Fey factions, the gentle Court of Summer and its coarser cousin, the Court of Winter. As a child, we were told stories of their ancient rivalry. These are surely myths, but enough to scare a young girl. In the last few years, the Court of Winter has fallen, corrupted by a group of powerful Fae called the Tuatha. It's the Tuatha we fight, and the Tuatha we will defeat. I would think they were a myth if not for the Tuatha. The Fae keep far from us. Perhaps they view us as intruders in their lands. Perhaps they disapprove of our civilized ways. Perhaps they know something we don't. I fear that most of all. I was a miller's love who became a miller's wife. This now I'm the wife of a soldier. My duty is to hold vigil for my beloved and for all our men on the lines. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> right? Where are you going? You gonna sit him out? You're gonna run one. Oh, Merlin's eating. He's like, oh, I want me some of that. <sighs> Still a feral kitten boy. It's my understanding that they were once members of the Court of Winter and Fae like any other, but something dark. Lured them, took them, and twisted them in its grip. Sorry, lady, there's a giant fey blade in your face. It's strange. Those old birds have been perched on that hill for as long as I can remember, staring down over the rest of us in the village like hawks. I know so little about them. I don't even know their names. I was born and raised right here in the village. Well, not in Gorhart proper, but on a farmstead outside the village boundaries. It was a good life. Before the war, of course. Is, is he trying to eat your food? Yes, but... He is a brat child. How do I have the fate touched weapon? I'm not sure. Goodbye. Um, this might be because of the DLC. Because I purchased the fancy version of it, like the collector's edition equivalent. So that might have been included. There's another note. Oh, Merlin? <laughs> Yeah, my husband, uh, the way our, our gaming area is set up is I have my L desk. His is a mirror image, so he has his two screens over there, and we can game together and whatnot. And he uh, sits there and moderates all my streams and goes and gets the nugget if I need it, brings me. He's the sweetest. All right. Oh, another letter to Avery. Oh, so not, we don't want to give them to Avery, we want to give them to Rika, maybe? I guess it wouldn't make sense to give it to her either. Even if it was to know, to let her know that this individual was writing them worried about her. I worry about Rika. We of the Order should not visit the village often. Why? Father says it's a distraction, a swamp of murky morality? 
but I can't stay away. I care too much. Your widow's sorrow deepens. She has come to close her shop at odd hours, retreat to the darkness of her upstairs. Oh, her bedroom. See the glimmer you loved so, but she is lonely without you or she is so delicate, so beautiful of heart. I try to console her, but it leaves me shaken. I will continue to watch over her in your absence. Interesting. Oh, I, I don't know. Probably not. Uh, still, still bound to the ground. Oh, oh no. Are you okay? Whatever you do, avoid the monks of St. Odwig's Perpetual. They deal in lies and false tenets. The light of hope will leave you in shadow. All right, I'm gonna get out of this and then talk to her again. Oh, are you just... Listen to me, friend. There we go. The monks of St. Odwig's fear truth. They seek to hide it behind stone walls and pleasant smiles. It is a lie. If such creatures were not part of the Authority's plan, then they would not exist in nature, period. Mitharu's divine order governs all, even the Fae. I mean, we've just got conflicting religions here. Yeah, Sister Zelda. <laughs> it is the name I chose when I baptized myself in the clear waters of Mitharu. I have undergone the ordination rites, and am as legitimate as any monk. You don't know. It is less a mission than a fortress of deception, a citadel of lies. It throws its menacing shadow over all of Gorehart. Father Dinwell will try to defend his cause, but he is simply a soldier, marching to the orders passed down to him. None of them have minds of their own. He would be a good man if he could see past the rigidity of his faith. Mitharu embraces all, not simply those that the church deems worthy. She was wronged by someone in this village. That is an injustice I can understand. By its appearance, you'd assume Gorhart is a pleasant place. Never make assumptions. All right. I'm not sure her issue is with the Fae or her issues with the people in here. This place. Behind us. But I am going to go deal with the Fae for. We have to get back. Well, let me look at the map. Oh, uh, we had to go around. All right, can do. Um, we'll take a break and go do combaty stuff. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up from your nap. Just over here breaking stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's 7.30? Yeah, perfect. It should have just aired. Oh, um, I never leave my house. <laughs> and I do wear sunscreen at all times. But that's just because I'm really into Korean skincare, and that is the paramount tenet of practice. Alright. Uh, let's go get these last remaining boxes so satisfying like i feel kind of like bad for breaking everybody's shit Just trying really hard not to sorry my guy i'm real sorry i know they didn't actually attack him but I would like to keep to your immersion as much as possible. Oh no, this is a dude whose nap we woke up and now we're over here like assaulting him. Sorry guys, sorry. Right. Wait, look, the plants show up on our map too. Oh. Oh, hello, baby. Um, ex hello? You, my dearest tiny boy. Where are you going? Yeah.
Alright, sit there and be good. Don't fuck with my stuff, okay? Right? Good. I don't. Little brat boy. Brat boy, brat boy. I love having a kitten, but oh my goodness, he's such a brat child. All right. Just gonna check in. We go around this corner. Uh, look at that guy. He looks like he belongs in the in the Zelda franchise. Oh, oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's just having a good time. I'll let him do his thing. Yeah, I have a like a special keycap that one of my friends gave me for her birthday last year. And <laughs> keeps trying to fuck with it. It's raised and special. Oh. I can't make out those like logs and stuff on the ground. Nugget, you just having a good time over there, baby? Ooh, a lodestone. Ooh, a chest. Uh oh, it's hard. Well. Ooh, yeah! It loads. Now, I don't know if what the Fae say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. Oh <laughs> my, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> And once in a while, you will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning, at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs> What's happening? I... I... Yeah, exactly. It's a gossip stone. I don't want those wolves. You pick my flower and pee. Pick my flower and pee. I'm gonna pick it. You're not gonna let me chill, are you? Oh! Oh, I get to use my new things. Yes, we get to spin. Oh! I didn't see you! Oh, I love chakrams so much. Okay, I think that's our max inventory now. Okay, we gotta go this way and talk to this lady. Oh, and there's another buff. We'll do that when we get back. This is the, um... I got it on Steam. It's the remastered Re-Reckoning. So, it's the updated version of the 360. May your hollow gods keep you, mortal. I am called Airy. Your face is new to me. You are different from those in Gorhart. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. I wandered the forest for many seasons, listening to lore stones of the great ballads. Before that, I dwelled in the gardens of Issa. I prefer the quiet of this village, the mirth of the witless. The remaster is definitely available through Steam. We are kin to the seasons and cycles of all life, to new life and perpetual growth. Mortals may view the warmth of the petals, and smell the beauty of a newborn bud. 
but only Fey know the strength of the roots beneath the surface. Feylands? Yes, I've heard these words before, but do not understand their meaning. There are only Fey, and there is only land. I do find all main sentiments so charming. <laughs> all main must be the word for non fair. Or non fey, I should say. I cannot reveal much. The gardens are the jewel of the summer court, a wonder beheld by few mortals. It is located far east of here in a wood so thick it would devour all but those who knew its secrets. Do not pursue such mysteries, mortal. They are not for you. Bastard, I didn't know that. I'll have to do that. Yeah, my mouse is... I got a new mouse. I have this boy whose right mouse clicker and whatnot isn't as wonk. And I have my normal mat in here, which you can So hopefully that shit's gonna be better. I just consolidated my streaming and recording locations. I had my recording stuff in my sewing room. So yeah, hopefully that shit's not gonna be a problem. I adore every sad soul in the village. Even stubborn Herc with his tender heart and drunken old Arnick. The widow fascinates me. She has no idea that her lover is dead. I watch them from my perch, hoping to learn the meaning behind their pursuits and passions. If I could, I would grant each of them an eternity. Alas, I cannot. She's watching a soap opera. I love it. Very fey. Very Aladrin. They contain memories, great moments, ideas, songs, and inspirations. The Fae do not record their words in ink or on paper. Ink fades, paper crumbles. Lore stones mark where our kind has made a lasting impression, where the season slowed to take note of glory on a grand scale. I also like the interpretation of the Fae with, like, the dark outer eye bit. Because usually when you see Fae, it's like all the same color and you just get a darker bit for the iris. This is interesting. I feel them near, flitting through the western woods like shafts of shadow in the sunlight. What could have brought them here, I wonder? The Tuatha do not trouble themselves with easy prey. If they prowl these woods, it is for worthy quarry. I find them so interesting, from their vestments to their odd habits and demeanors. Just yesterday I saw a monk from the Almain mission sneaking through the underbrush. Strange creatures you are. Strange, but glorious. Hmm, we might have a lead then. Yes, I witnessed this crime. Although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However... I would be quite Sorry. interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. Well. So I don't think I have a greater all three gen three gen. Okay. We can see if we can make it. I think that was but go have a look. Thank you, I don't want any. <coughs> I was trying to not slay you. I don't want to have to kill you unless I. Oh, little guys! Oh, wait. Yes. Oh, what is his name? 
a light. Was it a bogart? I think was the name. Ah, so here's this red lesion stuff. The bandits that we've been hearing about. All right, so let's go see if we can find a greater ocean or make one. I'm I'm down to make one. I don't even know if we have a recipe for that. Maybe we need a. Can we? Okay. Bunch of noise. Okay, we'll explore in a second. We're trying to stay on task here. So, was this the, sh the healers? The inn. Is there a shop shop? We were in one, right? Oh, look, our little marker is here. An alchemy shop! Even better. That's pretty convenient. Although, I, I guess they're trying to make it pretty easy for us in the Beware. The rage is about. Oh. Arnik Arduna isn't like other Losulfar I've met. He's friendly, not like his icy brethren. Really wanna... Alright, yeah. <laughs> you there, do you feel nauseous, itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. Excuse me? No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? I don't know. What have you done? Let's see if we can get her to talk about what she... For years, I dabbled in alchemy, healing, divination, and transmutation. All of that seems frivolous now, what with the war looming over us. Now I spend my sleepless nights in search of a formula that will end such conflicts forever. Uh, it doesn't really tell us what's going on, but... Haven't you seen it? The grim tower to the west. Avoid its shadow if you can, because what transpires inside Alistar will benefit no one. I would know. What? That's where we came from, lady. I'm happy to be alive. I don't know about her. I have seen many conflicts unfold, but never have I seen one in which the fates of so many are at stake. The Tuatha will not settle for simple victory. They want total domination and will do whatever it takes to achieve it. They are the undying, the corrupted roots. Their existence is an abomination. Everything in Amalur exists for a particular reason, except for the Tuatha. They are not meant to be. Bandits, ruthless and well organized, the Red Legion is reaping many rewards by preying on vulnerable Almain settlers traveling east. Long ago, these villains confined themselves to the coast, but recently they've moved inland to avoid the war. Now they're our problem. If you must know, my name is Nani Hanri, formerly the chief alchemist of Alistar. Oh. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you? When the scholars in the tower ordered me to leave the grounds, I took refuge here. The Almain are a private people, keen to keep to themselves, like me. All right. Totally not a Disney villain. What would you like to know? Each game. Favorite is in my personal favorite that I love the most, or well, yeah, I guess that's the question, and rather not like who's the best written. <laughs> First one, Morgan. He is such a well-developed character. I love watching her go from origin to her DLC into Inquisition and watching her become the person that she does, right? I think she's fascinating. I love her sass. I love her Tsundere personality and the way that she does eventually soften 
become more wise to the world. Um, I also, honorable mention, really like Zevran and um, Elf Boys. Um, from two, Anders, hands down, not a second thought. I am definitely an Anders fangirl, and I have posters in support of his cause back down. Um, Inquisition, Solus, hands down. Also have stuff on the wall to espouse his efforts. Um, and I know you guys can't see it, but this playmat that I have is literally a collage of Solus fan art. <laughs> um, Inquisition was my first game. And um, I really hit the ground running with that one. And it, that one is particularly very near and dear to my heart. So I just instantly fell in love. I've played Trespasser nine times. <laughs> and girls, Morrigan. And I wouldn't say they're detrimental to the state of the world, but that is definitely not an argument to be had here. Um, I have had uh, many, 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 many such arguments in YouTube comments and on, not so much on the, on the community discord, but we do talk about it occasionally. Um, so I have like, I need to just write up like a treatise. So when people were like, wait, what? I'm just like point them to it. But yeah, that's, that's the TLDR of it. All right, let's see if we can get this greater healing potion. Do you really think I'm able to part with anything, much less one of my finest mixtures? Yes. This is a place of research. There is no charity. I'll pay for it. Can I just do that? Or right, first, 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 let's see. Oh, wait, what? Right, right, right. Morgan does help. And again, like, I'm not going to have this conversation here, but I think both of the others definitely help the world state as well. It's just from whose perspective. See if we can buy it. I need to sell is what I need to do. Okay, so. Hunter, we don't need... kind of want one nice one of each that I might use. I sell that and that. Don't need those. I wish I could look at the... Oh, these are free. No, no, um, I'm not, I'm not into children, that's not my jam. The boys, emotionally, physically, not my jam. I'm gonna go ahead and sell these, cause I'm... And we'll keep these just in case. I sell them, I gave them to this lady because she didn't accept any coin, but... See, we don't need that. This is a might set, correct? Yeah, definitely not be using these two. Is this a might set. Ooh, it's sorcery. It's so pensive. Uh <laughs> I wish there was some place, maybe I'll get a chest later so I can put all Shepard's stuff in in a place instead of having to like get rid of it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Anders, Anders is not a boy and neither is, is Solus by a, a whole long stretch. Both of which are stellar. I can't even say humans. Uh, Humanoids? <laughs> All right. Oh, this is a buckler. We should be wearing a buckler. I wasn't sure. I'll keep that one then. I wasn't sure if we needed to have a shield as like a stabby class. But yeah, no, an arm buckler may. Okay, I don't need these use. And I've got cons. Oh. I still have so many things in my bags. Serpent's venom. I don't know. I don't need it. 
Don't need blazing salve either. Ugh, what is this? There's a compass. Oh! Is that- do I have like a trinket slot? That would be really cool. That's so nifty! Okay, so we've got a bunch of shit. I think that when we read these, we gotta sell them because it's taken up space in our logs and I cannot have that. We read all of those. Okay. Three. Um, we probably shouldn't keep this unless we intend to do blacksmithing and I really- So... We can go to the Sagecraft person and do gems, though. Okay, 43. Ugh. That doesn't really- Greater healing potion. Here. Ooh, well, first, let's see if she'll give it to us. I want to see if I can use my persuasion. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I just said all the crafting stuff. For our, like, component shit, I, I definitely agree. Um. Oh, no. Oh my goodness. I do like that everybody has different favorites for the series. Because don't get me wrong, they're all good characters. They're just like different flavors of ice cream, right? Everybody has preferences. That doesn't mean that if my favorite's pistachio almond, that mint chocolate chip isn't also great. And there are moods, right? Or some days they're like, yeah, this really suits how I'm feeling. I like to reinforce that perspective because it's things like that that aren't good or bad. It's like, hey, this is my jam, not necessarily yours. I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for it. I'm sorry. Fine, I'll buy it myself. It's not like we don't. I just wanted to see if I could use my persuade stuff, right? Man, I miss ice cream. Don't get me wrong. Like, there are some vegan ice cream. But... And even though, like, I'll have, like, a tiny bite, and it's still just, like, it murders me. Dairy allergies are the worst. Like, I wish I could trade it for being just, like, lactose intolerant. Or even casein intolerant. No, anything that has casein in it so basically any any animal product really um not meat but like eggs and and dairy products i can't eat it like i just i have an allergic reaction to it it's so hard and i developed it as an adult like it's yeah i love morgan i was so upset when i realized i couldn't romance her <laughs> i would have loved to have romance cast too but Oh well. Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, Excuse but with me? a weapon. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. My goodness. Oh no. Yeah, casein sucks as an allergy. I don't even know how I developed it. I guess sometimes that shit just happens. Yeah. Alright. It was an early version, unstable and rife with potential dangers. My hope is to develop a weapon that the Alpha can bring against our common enemy, the Tuatha. To say more would be to reveal my secrets. All I can say is that it involves lesions, goiters, and a good deal of pus. Not necessary. His name was Karth Hilfred. I found him one morning outside my door, picking through the ember eyes. I was impressed how well he knew his way around a plant. I've never seen one so eager to learn. Is he... Alright. We'll hop around. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's that's definitely the gist of this, especially because she's so defensive about it. And she got kicked out of the place where we were born. I do not deserve such goodwill after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. 
I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnurfar Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it! It's the only way to keep us safe. Bye, Travis. Stay safe during a storm. I hope it's just chill and it passes and everything's fine. Yeah, stay safe. The villagers believe it's haunted, but I have a feeling that's a ruse devised by the Red Legion. They mean to terrorize these people into submission, and it's working. I wish when we got new chat things, it put it at the top. I fear for his life. Karth was gifted in a way that I've witnessed in only a select few. If the Red Legion has him, there's no telling of how he'll be treated. All right. Oh. Fear All right. Well.